It's a pleasure welcoming you here into this political rumbles here in Kowe TV. Yes, uh, the um, standby force has been ordered uh, by the ECOWAS, of course, to march into uh, Niger Republic for the military uh, incursion. Uh, despite uh, several uh, condemnation from different quarters in that particular subject. So what is your take on that? I condemn it equally. Why? Because with ECOWAS is, is restored. I condemn it from the beginning to the end. The moment such idea was put in place, I condemn it in total. Africans should be free from outside influence. Africans should be free from uh, external influence. But well, that's a good point. So what I'm saying is this. Now that there are plans to destabilize Africa, it's unfortunate that Nigeria is playing such role, encouraging a military invasion in a sovereign nation. Nigeria is a sovereign nation. And a neighboring state for that matter. Exactly. Remember that if there is any military operations in Niger, so to say, the entire northern Nigeria will be totally affected. I agree with you. Tunubu should be called to order. This is not the era of military invasions here and there. There is a seemingly economic problem across Africa. There is a major significant issue of new colonization in African states. These are the things I expect ECOWAS states to be treating as an, a major issue. But that is not the case as it is now. But that notwithstanding, ECOWAS should respect what it is meant for. Economic economic community. Economic community. I did not see anything war attached to the organization of ECOWAS. So to say, instead of talking about maybe say ECOMOC or during the days of ECOMOC that these are military staff members that would defend West Africa and all the rest. This is not ECOWAS is not a this is a, we expect ECOWAS to be, you know, bringing out policies, you know, that will see economic development of West African states, not war. The Italian government have made a press statement this morning condemning the supposed invasion or whatever military standby to invade Niger. Niger should be given time. They have appointed a prime minister, one of the finest brains in the, in, in the World Bank, yes. has now become the prime minister in Niger. They should allow Niger a time for proper transition of government, of government, democratic government, to put this in order to see things, you know, move in that direction of civilian government. That is my take on that. Yes, I think I quite agree with you. Uh, it was alleged that uh, Nigerian embassy is a plan have been set a place in uh, Nigeria Republic. Uh, would that be an 
end of diplomatic uh, uh, treaty between Nigeria and Niger. My, my, the sole decision of the chairman of ECOWA, so to say, he has automatically disengaged Nigeria from all treaties entered with the Nigerian Republic. Remember, if anything happens, Nigeria might be thrown into darkness because all our dams, which is the source of electricity in Nigeria, might go down to it. Nigeria should be careful. Tinubu should be careful. I don't think that Tinubu have a thorough knowledge or idea of what he's supposed to do. There has been condemnations by senators. There has been condemnations from well-meaning people. There has been condemnation from different quarters that military invasion is not the solution. Yes. Exactly. Even the it's not the clarity. solution. Yes. Yes. It's not the solution. Yes. It's not the solution. Yes. Even after military invasion, at the end of the day, the solution remains dire dialogue in a situation like this. Exactly. Uh, if actually military uh, invasion is the way to go, why is uh, terroristy killing Nigerian citizens who have been apprehended? Where are the military? Where are the their, 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 their powers. You see, uh, it was reported that about 20 something was killed in the north just yesterday. These are Nigerians, and the killers, of course, are nowhere to be found. They struck and get away with such a heinous crime, let alone when war was declared. It's rather unfortunate. Why uh, people are suffering, uh, there is pandemonium panic across Nigerian states. Uh, your senators are, of course, uh, cruising uh, in millions, uh, having been given uh, some token for enjoyment. Why no, nothing is left for Nigerian public? It's unfortunate that um, uh, Ababio committed such blunder. I think by now he should have resigned. Why are we having mediocrity as leaders in Nigeria? Nigeria is facing deep economic crisis, insecurity everywhere. Nothing. Nigerians are. Are tired. Tired is an understatement. And are you telling me now that there is hope? It's renewal, not hope. Renewal. Are you telling me now there is hope in Nigeria? Renewal. So, if in a situation like this, where all, where all the institutions of government is collapsing, including the judiciary, are you not seeing that possibly the last hope in this regard might be the military intervention in Nigeria? Of course, it's foreseeable uh, based on the realities. How can the senior president be saying that uh, enjoyment allowances token has been sent to your various accounts while Nigerians are dying waiting for the 8,000 that is not foreseeable? Oh, no, that is uh, quite unfortunate. So how will Nigeria react to this? Will they still Nigerians accept that? Have already reacted. Eminent Nigerians have already reacted in that regard. Nigerians are saying that the Senate President, Goswil Afabil, should resign. Well, Does that not have what it takes. It, 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 my brother, that is why. So what are you insinuating now? That we should continue in this place. Because there are a lot of unforeseen things that are going now. Oh. A lot of corruption. A lot of... They will 
will come out and tell you that they have not come out. The same people who have put Nigeria in a mess will still come out tomorrow to tell you that Nigeria, this is a clear example. What happened in, to Osuna Fabio is a clear example of what is going on the ground. Maybe he never knew when he voiced out such. That's why he withdrew his statement and tried to reframe. No, let me tell you, he cannot say he never knew. He's no a newcomer in the upper chamber. It is a clear thing that these guys are not thorough when it comes to leadership. They are not without working when it comes to leadership. They, they don't have ethics or what it takes to be in a leadership position. And that is the blunder we would not to see. Mm. Wow, that is wonderful, this submission, uh, the, the lack of capacity to address certain, of course, uh, uh, leadership uh, issues. And that's why, of course, Nigerians are left at the mercy of whatever happens to them. It's